We need you to like this video if you're a real Saints fan. Now, if you're a Falcons fan thinking about jumping ship, don't blame you. Still go down and like the video. If you're sub the channel, if you bleed the black and gold, help us get to 300 likes. The bosses here at Chat Sports don't think we can do it. Prove them wrong by hitting that big like button. Who dat, who dat, what's going on, who dat nation? Will Scott with you here for Saints. Now talking about some Saints breakout candidates. I think we're all excited about the Saints' upcoming season. They have plenty of new guys on the roster, some of which could break out. Now two guys that we're familiar with pretty well, Jameis Winston and Michael Thomas, they make our honorable mention. They, they were not one of the four names we're talking about as part of our breakout candidates, but Michael Thomas, after not playing last season, he's going to be back fully healthy, and he could absolutely explode with Jameis Winston, who is also expected to be back fully healthy, and maybe Jameis can silence the critics, prove himself as the long-term answer at quarterback for the Saints, I think he is absolutely someone who can break out. Peyton Turner, though, is our first breakout candidate. 2021 first-round pick out of Houston. Now, unfortunately, we really didn't see him as much last season. Just five games played, spent some time out because of injuries, but he showed lots of talent when he was on the field. Of course, the Saints 2021 first-round pick. Here's what he did in those five games, and he really showcased his potential. 12 tackles, three tackles for loss, one sack, three quarterback hits. So if Turner can stay on the field, he can absolutely be a breakout candidate, and I think he, he is going to break out this season for the Saints and add to what is a fantastic Saints defense. New Orleans absolutely loaded across the board on defense, one of the best defenses in the league, and I think Peyton Turner is going to play a big impact in the Saints defense this season. Do you, though, think that Peyton Turner is going to break out in 2022? Go down in the comment section, type your wife or yes, or you're in for no. I'm going to go down and type my wife or yes. I think it's going to be a big year for PT. Our second breakout candidate, someone who we've talked about a decent amount here recently on the program, that's Adam Troutman. Trace, why is he a breakout candidate? So I personally think that Adam Troutman is a breakout candidate because he's proven that he can run block. Yeah. And then there's also a lot of pressure on him this coming season to really perform well at the tight end position. You know, now that we have T uh, Taysom Hill, excuse me, playing that tight end two position, we have Nick Vanette. We also have Lucas Kroll and Jawan Johnson all taken over. I think that Troutman has really, really good opportunity, a really good opportunity, excuse me, a really good opportunity to break out. I mean, if you look at his uh, receiving stats last year, I'll pull them up for you. He managed to do a lot of really, really great things and was able to run block very, very well. And he had a PFF grade of 81 or 84.1, which was actually the best among all tight ends. And, you know, it's one of those things that you, you look at what he's done and it's, and it's extremely impressive. And I mean, 27 receptions, 263 yards, two touchdowns, and almost an average of 10 yards per catch. I don't know, man. I think it's pretty, it's pretty, you know, hard to to not view yeah. him as a breakout candidate, you know? Well, here's what I'll say about him, right? When you look at what he did early in the season last year, he was awesome. However, later in the season, Trace, he had some injury issues, spent some time on the IR, missed four games. First 10 games last season, he had 25 receptions, just two receptions after that. So if he can stay healthy, kind of like Peyton Turner, right? Someone else we've talked about as a breakout candidate. If Troutman can stay healthy and Jameis, more importantly, can stay healthy, I think he's going to be a big weapon for Jameis, but not just in terms of a pass catcher, right? He's more valuable than just that. He's also a great blocker. You mentioned that he had the highest run blocking grade. And who knows if Alvin Kamara is you know, going to be out five, six games, it's going to be really important to get some of those other running backs uh, some, some operating room. So I really like Troutman. And Trace, what else do you have to say about him? 
Yeah, man, I just think that uh, Adam Troutman's future is truly in his own hands. Like I said, you know, Taysom Hill, he's going to be a, that Swiss Army knife role that we've all come to know and love. And, you know, now that he doesn't have the pressure of being a quarterback, he doesn't have to, you know, be a little bit more careful with taking hits and he doesn't have to think, oh, just get the ball out instead of trying to make a play. I, I really think that his future is in hands. And I think that with, uh, with the opportunity to have a breakout season like this, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see what he can do. I really am. Guys, hit me up on uh, IG and Twitter at TraceGerard48. The first 10 people who uh, give me a follow are going to get a shout out on the next video. And I'm going to follow back every single one of you guys who hit me up from this video. Um, I asked for this the other day, Will, and nobody followed me, which is Oh, come whack, on, St. Chance. I, like, we can do on, better. Guys. I was like, I was the other day uh, chopping it up with some other Saints fans, just roasting these Falcon fans, calling them idiots. I mean, you guys are missing out <laughs> if you're not following me. Join the party. Come on, hit me up at Trace Gerard 48 Instagram and Twitter, guys. Hit me up. At Trace Gerard 48, first 10 will get a follow back and a shout out. And if you haven't already, go down, hit that big red sub button. Trace, man, we're approaching a milestone here on Saints now. Hey, Will, I got a quick question for him, though. Uh, you hitting that? <laughs> you hitting that? Yeah, I know oh, you're talking I, no, I about that, that sub coming. button, though. Come on, guys. Get that dirty mindset out of your heads. Sub, sub, sub. Smash the subscribe button. We're trying to hit 8K. We passed 7K last week, guys. I'm so proud of the Houdat Nation. Keep smashing it. Uh, share with your friends. And, yeah, it is kind of supposed to sound dirty, but what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Let's get into our next breakout candidate. That's going to be Marquez Callaway. And, you know, someone we've talked about as a weapon in the Saints offense. And, yes, I get it. The Saints are absolutely loaded at the wide receiver position. You could make an argument that that is a reason that Callaway is not going to have a breakout season. However, I would argue that it, that's the reason he is going to have a breakout season. Because you have... Jarvis Landry. You're going to have Michael Thomas back. That's going to open up, I think, more opportunities for Callaway to get involved in this Saints uh, offense. Here's what he did in his first couple of years in his career. Now, he was an undrafted free agent in 2020 out of Tennessee. I'll tell you what, man. I like these Tennessee guys that I'm seeing on the Saints. 67 receptions, nearly 1,000 yards, six touchdowns. Someone who got better each and every single season. And that's what you look for when you're looking at breakout candidates. He saw a bigger role each and every season, first couple seasons of his NFL career, kind of similar to the way we saw him get better at the University of Tennessee. Now, he's not ready to be wide receiver one, but with less pressure, he could absolutely go off. Here is the Saints' current wide receiver depth chart. So Callaway may be like kind of the fifth option right now between Thomas, Salave, Smith, and Landry. But because they're going to have, you know, some of the top corners on opposing teams focusing on those guys, Callaway can absolutely get involved and do damage in the Saints offense. If you had to take a bet over under 500 receiving yards for Marquez Callaway, you type an O for over or U for under, go down in the comments section. Let me know. I think it's going to be a big year for Callaway. I'm typing my O for over. Our last breakout candidate here, that's Paulson Adebo. And, you know, someone who had a pretty solid rookie season last year, a third-round pick out of Stanford in 2021. The potential is sky high. Now, he's a part of a loaded Saints cornerback room led by Marshawn Lattimore. Now, Adebo kind of the second option, but iron sharpens iron, right? And when you're looking at Adebo, he's someone that showed a lot of potential, a lot of upside in his first season. He is, bit, he is due, I think, for a big year two. Here's what he did in his rookie season. Three interceptions, 66 tackles, eight pass breakups, four tackles for loss. This guy was all over the field. Coverage skills obviously have to improve a little bit. I think Trace would agree with me there. But someone who I would certainly expect to be a lot better in year two for the Saints. Guys, you can also hit me up on uh, Twitter. Like I said earlier, I'm trying to chop it up with some of you guys. DM me. I'm always down to talk uh, New Orleans Saints football. So just wanted to remind you all one more time, give me a follow on social media.